Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my piano course for beginners level two. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in getting the accompanying method book for this course, there's going to be links for that below. And I also offer online piano lessons. If you're looking for one, there's going to be information below. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the primary chords of G major and their inversions. Just like in C major, we learned the primary chords of C major. In every key, we can figure out the primary chords. All we need to do is write the scale from G to G, as you can see on the screen now. And on the first note, we're going to build a triad or a chord. So line, 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 two skips, which is going to be our first chord, G, B, D. So G is the first note of the scale and we're going to play G, a skip, and another skip. One, three, five. This is our G major chord. Now we need to build the fourth chord, so we need to find the fourth note of the scale. One, two, three, four. So we're going to start C, a skip, and another skip, C, E, G. This is our C major chord, and in this case, the C major chord is going to be chord four. So notice how in the key of C major, the C major chord was chord one, but in the key of G major, the, the chord of C major is chord four because the function now changed. We are in a different key. And the fifth note or the fifth chord is going to start on one, two, three, four, five on D. So we have to play D, F, A, two skips, but don't forget that G major doesn't have an F, it has an F sharp. So instead of the F, we're going to play the F sharp. D, F sharp, A, this is chord five. So chord one is G major, chord four is C major, and chord five is D major with the F sharp in the middle. So let's have a look at this primary chord warm up. We're going to clap the rhythm first and then play through the chords. So as you can see, it always starts with two crotchets followed by two quavers and the crotchet or two quarter notes followed by two eighth notes and the quarter note. So ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. And that's the rhythm all the way through. Let me play it once and then I'll show you. So lots of energy, and as you can hear, the chords are staccato. Now let's dissect this. We're going to start in the G position. So G chord, chord one, left hand starts at the low G, right hand an octave higher. So that's our chord one, G major. Then we're going to move to the C major chord, up. And then we're going to move to the D major chord with the F sharp, and we're going to move up again to the G major chord. So chord one, chord four, chord five, and chord one. It's a very good idea to practice changing between the chords so your hands can memorize the distance between the chords, the primary chords of G major. One, four, five, one. One, four, five, one. And as always with the chords, be careful that all notes go down at the same time, keeping a rounded hand shape and a soft wrist. Now let's play the rhythm. Left hand starts. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. And together. Left hand starts, right hand, left, right, left, right, and then together. Now once you can do that in a non-staccato way, let's add in the staccatos. So the, the staccato is gonna be a forearm staccato because it's a chord. So you want your entire forearm to come up and use the energy of the forearm to bounce up with the chords. So lots of energy going into these chords. As you could see, the hand was bouncing up and down, up and down, not from the fingers like in finger staccato, but the whole forearm is coming up and providing energy for the chords and accuracy to make sure all three notes go down together. 
So that was our primary chord warm up. Now let's move on and let's have a look at the primary chord inversions, which are really important to make the move between the chords easier. So let's start with the G chord, one, three, five. We're going to keep this the way it is, chord one. Chord four is C, E, G, and we're going to move this G down to the bottom. So G, C, E is going to be our inverted chord four. Chord one, chord four. So we just need to move one note up to change the chord. One, four. Chord five, we're going to make it into a chord five, seven by adding the seventh note. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. C is going to be the seventh note. So D, F sharp, A, C. This is our chord five, seven, and we're going to rearrange this into an easier uh, position. We're going to move down the C to the bottom. We're going to move the F sharp to the bottom and we're going to omit the A. So it's going to become F sharp, C, D. That's our chord five, seven. So chord one, G, B, D, chord four, G, C, E, and chord five, seven is F sharp, C, D. And back to chord one. Left hand is going to play chord one, five, three, one, chord four, inverted, five, two, one, and chord five, seven is gonna be five, two, one as well. And back to five, three, one. Now that we know the inversions, let's have a look at an inversion warm up or study. We're going to start in the G position, chord one, chord four, five, seven, and back to one. And as you can see on the screen now, first we play the chords in a broken chord uh, pattern, and then we play them as blocked chords. The time signature is three, four, so three beats. Let me play it first. So starting with chord one, middle C, G, and an octave higher. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Chord four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, five, seven. F sharp, F sharp. One, two, three, one, two, three, and back to G. And once you master the exercise, feel free to go nice and fast. It's going to give your hands a good warm up. Nice clean articulation, clarity between the notes, but you can play it nice and smooth. Now that we learned all about the primary chords of G major, in the next lesson we're going to learn a piece with the primary chords of G major.